Now, Dr. Burke, uh, your research shows that uh, if all of the United States had been fluoridated, that would mean uh, about 70,000 extra deaths because of cancer per annum. Those are remarkable, impressive, and in fact, rather disquieting figures. Could you shortly describe your research in this field and what results did you get from it? Yes. The 70,000, of course, represents, would represent one-fifth of all the cancer deaths in the United States, twice as many from breast cancer in women and twice as many as from lung cancer in man. Uh, to our studies involve comparing the deaths of all persons in the ten largest fluoridated cities of the United States with the ten largest non-fluoridated cities in the United States year by year. And we obtained a very remarkable curve, which you can see here perhaps. Here is the fluoridated, and here is the non-fluoridated set of 10 cities each. Before, here's where the fluoridation started. And before this time, both sets of cities were identical. But no sooner had fluoridation started then this curve began to go up, the deaths began to increase, so that this effect occurs very promptly, within one, two, or five years. Now this, sir, is conclusive evidence that fluor kills because of cancer. It is one of the most conclusive bits of scientific and biological evidence that I have come across in my 50 years in the field of cancer research. Would this then, in your opinion, be the end of fluor in water? in drinking water? It should be the end, and in the United States, it should so be the end by federal law known as the Delaney Amendment, which says that anything found to induce cancer in man or animals cannot be legally put into the food or drink of man or animals. And so, uh, and this is all less than one year old, so that it entirely changes any previous ideas of fluoridation that anyone may have had, because this is the first real indication of an important effect. Now, in, uh, in, in this country, of course, the state of the, uh, the dental state of the Union, the way people's teeth look, is incredible indeed. Would you say that uh, stopping fluor had other effects than increasing the dental problems in this country? Well, I would rather look at it that it would certainly help the cancer death situation in this country, which I'm sure most people would agree is far more important than a temporary benefit to teeth in adolescent children. Now this, uh, this, this, you see, amounts to public murder on a grand scale, it is a public crime, it would be, to put fluoride in the drinking water of people. Now, the children of this cameraman and mine, sir, take fluor. Should we stop this immediately? Well, in my opinion, if they were my children, uh, they would not take it anymore. I can only recommend for myself, but I would suggest to you that they stop it. Is there a difference uh, in having fluor in drinking water or administering little fluor pills to children? Well, of course, the little fluor pills are a much smaller proposition than drinking gallons of water per day or per week, as well as taking a bath in it and washing your automobile in it and watering your lawns. That's a very massive thing compared to uh, brushing teeth with fluoridated toothpaste. Yes. But uh, our work is immediately concerned with drinking water. What happens to toothpaste, I'm quite willing to uh, let the future studies go into that in more detail. There is, of course, you talk about murder, sir, uh, an ethical aspect to all this, a law aspect, an aspect of people's inhumanity to people. What is your uh, idea about how should this be implemented in our society? 
the ethical aspects of administering poison, as it were, to people? Well, I think this aspect, this murder aspect, uh, clearly indicates a very strong unethical aspect to forcing people to kill themselves.